Hi, my name is Alasia. Hi, my name is Shanti. And we're going to be teaching you guys about your emotions. Today, we'll be using pumpkins to express your fall feelings. Before we get started, we're going to go over a few words with you guys. The first word we're going to discuss today is called angry. Does anyone know what angry means? Angry is when you feel strongly upset towards someone or something. This is your second word, and can anyone guess what this word is? If you guess happy, you're right. Happy is when you tend to smile more and be more excited. The third word we're going to be discussing is confused. Does anyone know what confused mean? Confused is when you don't understand something or you feel lost. This is your last vocab words and it's called feelings. Feelings are your emotions. Angry, confused, happy, those are all examples of feelings. Now we're gonna get started with the lesson. And the materials needed today will be a marker, scissors, popsicle stick, and your laminated papers. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make the shape of your pumpkin. It doesn't matter what shape you make as long as it's something that you like. And after that, you're going to cut out the shape of your pumpkin. Warning. When cutting paper, please have an older sibling or parent watch and help you. Thank you. Here I'm just cutting out basic facial expressions like eyes and mouths, but you can cut out many different types or sizes to express different emotions. Here's another example of what your mouth can look like on your pumpkin. This next part we're doing is we're going to start drawing the eyebrows where our pumpkin faces and cutting them out. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but right now I'm just drawing the lines of the pumpkin so it can look more real.
Right now we're just cutting out the stems to put on the top of our pumpkins. Now that our stems, eyebrows, eyes, and mouths are done, we're going to show you how to make them stay on our pumpkins' faces. So now we're going to cut our two-sided tape into pieces to stick onto the facial expressions we have to then stick onto our pumpkin. So what you're going to do is peel the paper off the two-sided tape, stick it to the facial future, and then put it onto your pumpkin to stick. Now that you have finished making your pumpkin, let's see if you know the names of the feelings on their faces. Do you know the name of the feeling this pumpkin is showing? If you need help, you can go back to the vocabulary words and you can pause the video if necessary. Drum roll, please. The answer is D, angry. If you got it right, good job. If you didn't, it's okay. You can always try again. How do you think this pumpkin is feeling? Here's a hint. Pay attention to the shape of the pumpkin's mouth. Drum roll, please. If you got C for the answer, good job. If you didn't, still a good job because at least you're getting to know more about pumpkin's feelings. Do you guys know the feeling on this pumpkin? This is a bonus question. Let's see if you guys can figure it out. Drum roll, please. The answer to this question is A. If you even try to answer this question, go ahead and give yourselves a good pat on the back because this feeling wasn't even on the vocabulary list. Vocabulary recap. Happy is a feeling when you smile and get excited. For example, going to the park and making friends can make you happy. Angry is a feeling that makes you upset or make you feel hurt about something. For example, somebody took your toy that you liked. Confused is when you are lost or don't remember something. For example, you forgot to put your toys away. Feelings are what makes you you. And don't let anybody try and change that about you. Well, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.